Hi guys, I'm Chi. Hope you all are doing well today. After watching this video, please tell me, do you think what this teacher is using these girls to do is right? Now, as a parent, if your daughter comes back home and tell you, mommy, daddy, this is what we did, uh, me and my friends, this is what we did to our teacher. Would you accept it? Will you tell them, well done, well done, congratulations. Well, I would like to get your own reaction in the comment section. I'll play guys the video right away. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll also tell you my own last thoughts huh, in this same video. Okay, let's go there. Let's go ahead and stir the pot a little, shall we? Last Friday, 10 minutes before dismissal time, I decided to live stream my students helping me take my hair out. There was quite the discourse in the chat, which had people saying this was inappropriate, and other people saying this was completely fine, there was nothing wrong with what I was doing, and people were just making it weird. So, of course, I had to bring this issue to the big stage. I would like to represent myself in this case, Your Honor, if I may. Number one, for a little context, I had a hair appointment immediately after school, and I needed my hair taken out beforehand. I would have taken it out the night before, but that Friday we had a camera crew coming in to shoot a promotional video, and I was one of the ones being interviewed. So I had to look presentable, so I didn't take my hair out. I didn't have the time to do it all myself, because it would have taken me forever. So naturally, I asked about four or five of my over a hundred best friends to assist me in taking my hair out, and they all agreed. Number two, this was at the end of class. This week, we were doing STEM fair presentations. Since it was Friday and all of my students did an excellent job on their STEM fair projects and presentations, I told them if we get one solid presentation in this class, I'll end class a little early and they can have fun and play basketball, darts, or be on their phones or whatever. And during that time, my team would help me take my hair out. A couple of these were students from my class, but others were students from other classes. I wrote all of them a pass at the beginning of the class period, requesting their assistance 10 minutes before dismissal. I told the teachers only send them if all of their work was completed and they had good behavior. They all met the criteria, so 10 minutes before dismissal, they showed up for their job. My next point I'd like to make is, if I was a female teacher, those people wouldn't be in the comments saying, Oh, this is weird, this is inappropriate. Because me personally, I don't think there's anything weird about this. People are saying, oh, that's too intimate. To me, it's literally just hair. It doesn't have to be weird. Some people have never had cool teachers, and it shows. I personally believe that building authentic relationships with students is paramount in being an effective teacher. I make sure my students know and can feel that I care about them beyond the schoolwork and all the stuff that I have to make them do. I take the time to get to know my students outside of academics because caring for the whole child is what's important. These students have been with me since I was a substitute four years ago. They see me as a big brother or a father figure as some of them say. And me, I don't want kids of my own so all of these kids are literally my children. And in case you're wondering about their parents, most of them follow me on social media and always talk about my videos with their kids. They always tell me that they're so grateful that their kids have someone like me in their life. In my admin, they're well aware of my social media presence and they love my videos. To me, this is just another wholesome moment that I'm having with my kids that I was fortunate enough to catch on film. Since I'm a science teacher, one thing that I teach my students about is symbiosis. Symbiosis deals with the relationships between organisms. The type of relationship that I like to foster in my class is mutualism or mutualistic relationship, which means both organisms benefit from the exchange. So when my students have good behavior, complete all their assignments, and do everything that a scholar is supposed to do, I reward them with downtime and just time to just be a kid, be on their phones, play games, gossip, so on and so forth. My students and I work hard and we play harder. I'm fortunate enough to have students that feel safe and comfortable around me, safe to come to me with their problems, their frustrations. They come to me seeking guidance and wisdom or come to me simply to chill and hang out because they know that they have a safe space to be themselves around me. What I strive to do as an educator is be the teacher I wish I had growing up. I strive to be the teacher that makes my inner child happy, someone that my inner child would be proud of. I want to be the teacher that my students reflect back on 20, 30 years down the line and think like, dang, that teacher I had in middle school, he was the shit. No further questions, Your Honor. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. You think this was inappropriate or people? Wow. That's massive, man. Well, 
if all he said about himself is true that means he has no any bad intention towards the female you know the girls around him uh, they are all safe and the parents are comfortable with it they love it they he's like a role model to them and um he's clean but you know the next teacher could not may not be as clean as him you know what it has happened in the past where you see male teachers getting the female students pregnant and doing some stuff with them dirty things you know so not all teachers are bad some have clean minds so their students don't want to have anything you know sexual in that um, you know in that area regarding to that area they don't want to have it at all with their students just normal student teacher relationship thing and that's all well um some people say why not the male students why didn't you call them to come loosen their hair well maybe the male students they don't know how to do it i've never done it before uh, the female the girls are more used to this kind of things because they do plate hair too as well do dread all right so um um but you know what it was after school but some people were like if it happened once no problem but they hope it's not something that happens all the time you know all the time and some people are like don't take that to the household don't take them to your house to tell them come to my house come help me cook clean the house you know uh, plate my hair for me and uh -huh. that one people will not accept it at all they'll be like it's not appropriate at all don't do that okay so to him he has a clean heart nothing much um so um for the female teachers you know those days too you see students helping teachers to go to the market buy stuff for them help them clean the house do stuff just because they love their teacher but just that some have dirty minds that's just the problem here there's nothing wrong helping your teacher do one or two things after school uh-huh yes nothing wrong but when it starts becoming too much like all the time the teacher keep requesting hey girls come to my house hey girls come help me do this at the point feelings could develop you know how these things work uh, the chemistry could start building gradually so and remember most parents uh, may not want it in as much that these girls their parents are comfortable with it some parents are comfortable with it um that does not mean that all parents will love it will love their female uh, their daughters to uh, be that so close to a male teacher if it was a female teacher they will somehow be like 95 percent comfortable with them around their female teacher even helping her to do things they, they are okay uh -huh. especially um if they do help their teachers they should equally do the same thing at home helping their parents not just one way uh, relationship they should also uh, show that at home too all right but um most people were not comfortable with it at all at all they say that this how this kind of thing start small 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 maybe in the next five years ten years one crazy girl among them as a student there will start falling for the teacher start seducing the teachers the teacher may not want it but you know things like this some girls will start developing feelings for their teacher it happens even in high schools secondary schools you see girls developing feelings for their teacher they want to be in a relationship with their teacher so for him he may not want that but some girls may start developing that kind of feelings maybe not this set maybe in the next five years ten years the students are coming so and he's a human he's a human being he could um fall into temptation because you know the girls around you you know um at the point you start um you know having that thought especially when this particular one is pesting on you all the time calling you chatting you up so it's not like teachers don't fall teachers too also they fall for their students they're like they fall into the trap of love and it's always cast at the point it gets exposed why some teachers did stuff with their students and nobody knew about it till this day it is it remained a secret with them forever nobody will ever know that these guys actually um did some dirty stuff with their female students okay these things happen it's not like don't pretend about it it happens unless maybe you never witness one but if you're so sharp when you're in secondary school or university you could tell that things like that happen um also female students female teachers too do stuff especially if the female teacher is a lesbian she could <laughs> do some stuff with her the, the the female girls in the school also um we have also seen female teachers that sleep with uh, the boys in the school as well so that's to say that that's why i said that most parents will not be comfortable with it imagine your daughter coming back home telling you ah mommy daddy this is what i did in school with my teacher i losing this head they'll be like 
they will not be so comfortable most will not be comfortable they will warn that girl hey don't do that again it's not appropriate at all eh? he can go to the saloon and pay money and tell them losing my hair for me but to him here in this video he said it was something urgent he had an interview he has an interview so he has to rush it so that means if um, it was not something urgent he would have gone to the saloon where they make hair and just pay the losing his hair for him or he could have equally done it himself in his own free time so um situation called for it so i don't think this is in his manners in his habit to be calling girls to make his hair to losing his hair um so this is just to tell you that um it happens bad things happen good things happen but just that no one knows when it will happen hmm? We are all trying to be careful here because female students, you know, they could get pregnant, things like that. And no parents would like their children to come home with unwanted pregnancy from a teacher or even from a fellow student. You know what? So that's what's up. Okay. So I would like to get your own thoughts. Yes. Do you think it's that bad? Hmm? What if it was a male student doing it to a female teacher? I don't know. It depends on what is in their mind, what's running in their mind at that particular time. Are they crushing on their teacher? These are the questions to ask. You know, feelings do grow. You agree with me on that, that feelings do grow. Even people crush on their pastors. So would you say because the man is a pastor, no girl in that church is crushing on him? Yes, people crush on their pastor, on their teacher. These things happen. Even on their boss at work. You know? So, so long as there are places where you find people of opposite sex, Feelings could develop among one or two or three or five or ten of them. They could start having relationship secretly or openly. So, well, uh, for me, I will not want my daughter to do that. Even if that teacher is so nice, let her stay far from men. Yes, until she's of age. When she has now understood fully how the world operates. Eh? When it comes to relationship. Mm -hmm. When she can handle it, then no problem. She can make friends. Uh -huh. But starting it from school now, now because those students did not get permission from their parents, huh? It's all right. So tell me, in your country, do you think you allow your daughters to be doing that to their male teachers, like so close to them? Even if the teacher you see him as someone who is claimed, would you want to your female, uh, your daughters to be so close to their teachers like that, male teachers? Tell me in the comment section, please. All right, he wants a reaction. He wants the opinions of people. For me, mm, it's a one-time thing. It, it's not something that happens all the time. So yeah, you can say it's okay. But um, when it keeps happening, then it will not be okay anymore because those girls could start thinking negative. Even when your own mind as a teacher is positive, they could lure you into it. They could seduce you into it. You know how this world works. Hmm? So that's it. Um, I'm out of here, man. I'm Chi Chao. Please like.